All right, so we're on to uh, cylinder four cooling mod here. We got some engine degrees, so we're doing the whole freaking car uh, or engine, I guess. But uh, <laughs> you just get yourself a hex socket. It's a uh, 12 millimeter. And I wouldn't recommend using an impact on it at first, but I'm just doing this for the sake of time. Um, get a, get yourself a little half inch wrench and tap it out safely. And then just get the rest of it out just like that. And then you'll be able to put your cylinder four cooling mod hose and adapters in there. And after, uh, we'll show you that. Uh, yeah. All right, next up here is you're gonna get your adapter. And this part's gonna just be able to screw into there. But we're not going to want to screw it in there yet. We're going to, uh, the instructions call for putting 90 minute gasket maker, gray, this stuff here, the right stuff. You put this on the threads here and then you'll take your wrench with the right socket on there and you will put it in there and wait 90 minutes <clears throat> before starting the engine. We got a lot of time, it should dry. All right, this is going to be a one inch flat wrench, or not flat, cool. You could use anything. I was trying to use a socket, but I don't have a one inch deep socket. Ooh. This is never enough gasket on there. This is true. I'm not really sure what the torque spike is for that. Probably just like good and tight. Good and tight? The yeah. German shit? Yes, bro. That's good, that's good, that's good. It's all aluminum, so you don't wanna oh, this is true. really rag on it. And yep, you're gonna now take your little hose guy, and right about where this is, you're gonna cut, and we can kinda mock it up a little bit, cause I'm just gonna clean off that excess. Like a shoe just gonna shove that guy on there, clamp around, and then you're Okay, so we just checked in my car and I ended up cutting it right here and I cut this to fit so it moved up perfectly and it didn't crease. So it looks something like this on my car. So, but it's, it's extra long so you could adapt it up here if you want to, but I don't, I think this is like way up here when it sits in the engine. So, I'm just kind of tap it in there. The engine sits in the engine. <laughs> the engine sits in the engine bay. God. But yeah, because you don't want it to like crease. You want some more light, just go up. That's exactly what I did here. So we're gonna install this right now. Right, Pew! So when I'm gonna set this up for the cooling mod. Ash is drilling out a piece of our air pump that wanted to die. So this is how the hose sits. Like this. Check this best way possible. I put this up to this. I put this here. It's just like about this. Just gonna cut right about here. So that's enough to go right into here, and then come out here to go up. We're gonna go right into that like so. <laughs> I just, I just drilled at this thing. No, not even mark. The punch doesn't make a mark on it. Um, yeah. I don't know how in the world that's gonna do its thing, but I'll be right about right here. Clip was here and. Huh? Huh? Oh. Are you the way? Huh? Oh, right over there on the top down. Oh. Alright, so. 
this. Right about there. I think OSHA would approve of my techniques. <laughs> yes, bro. A hundred percent. All right, trimmed it a little bit, clamped it in here, and then took the rest of our heater hose and put it on here. And I guess we have an extra hose clamp now. Didn't take off. Ash, you want an extra hose clamp? <laughs> uh, oh, we'll just put it over there. Oh yeah, that, that is the cylinder four pulling mod. That's the whole process there. Now, if you're doing it under the engine, it's a lot harder, but this is a better visual for under behind the engine. So just something for you guys to see because it's hard to get a good video when it's in the car. So there she is.